Howdy mates. Good noon time. Here's my first video log I wanted to make for today. So, uh, the purpose of this video, I want to point out a tree that I really have not been able to see other places besides that of the Stillwater Prairie Reserve, the range line access. So, the tree that I'm pointing out is known as the Schumard Oak with the scientific name of Quercus schumardi. And a common way that you can distinguish this tree among all the other oaks is the fact that if you look at the bark carefully, especially up there a little bit, in the winter sun, it has a tendency to be very reflective in its look. So it kind of reflects the light off of the bark. And it's surprising that this tree even keeps their leaves during the winter, too. So that's a helpful way to help identify the tree. And another common means of identifying the tree is if you look at the buds right here, most oaks usually have buds that are clustered with one another. As opposed to, say, for example, a maple. Usually there's just one terminal bud. But this has a cluster of different buds. And another characteristic of the Schumard oak is how you see a new limb or twig starting underneath the new bud. So that's another good way to distinguish and typically the buds kind of have like an olive green color to them and then here is also a great example of a leaf that comes from a schumard oak there's usually about in this case there's one two three four five, there's usually seven to nine different pointed lobes on them. So this is a very helpful means of identifying the tree. And it can often be confused with the northern red oak too. But the difference with the northern red oak is when you look at the bark, it's usually a lot smoother. Unlike that one, it's a bit more furrowed. And the bark kind of has something that resembles ski tracks. And another thing, too, about the Schumard oak is they're usually found along upper floodplains and along streams. And surprisingly enough, we're actually, I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but right in front of me down here, that is the Stillwater River. So that perfectly fits the parameters of where you can find a Schumard oak. But yeah, they, they typically, they do produce your typical acorns. That's why these types of trees are so important. Usually a lot of the wildlife likes to feed on them, such as that of squirrels, especially squirrels. They love their acorns. For those of you who have seen Ice Age, the movie, you would likely understand. <laughs> Had to make a little reference there, man. Times. But yeah, this trail that I'm walking on essentially goes along the Stillwater River. So you just have a chance to just glance at some of the woods nearby and that of the Stillwater River. And I gotta tell you, I had to walk across it earlier to get to this portion of the preserve, and it is rather chilly, I would say. <laughs> so, perhaps that's why I'm so chill. Hmm. Never really thought of it that way. <laughs> so, alright. Just want to provide you guys a little quick view. And there's a shag bark hickory right there, right in front of me. And these are some Eastern red cedar. Yeah, it's 
provide a quick view for you guys. Very peaceful out here. Beautiful day to be outside too. You know, being able to see the yellow sphere up in the sky, it's rather nice. Because it's been cloudy and really chilly these past few days. So it's just, it's very nice just to be outside for a change. So, all right. Thought I would share some of that with you guys. Hope you learned something out of the video. Highly, highly recommended spot. This is personally my favorite portion of the Stillwater Prairie Reserve. There's three portions. And all right. Hope all of you enjoy your Wednesday. And Journey on a Journey is out. Take care, folks.